Hey, my community, Jeff back again with another quick little video on a couple things I picked up at my local store. Um, funny story first, funny story first, a <laughs> little funny story. Uh, my daughter's not here to defend herself. So anyway, my uh, youngest daughter, she goes to the record store with me mainly because it's a book and record store. They have lots of used books, lots of used records, like used CDs. And uh, yeah, so th we go there together occasionally. And a couple months ago, we went there and she bought some books. I probably bought some records. I don't recall. Maybe I didn't buy anything that day. But anyway, so the other day, the book that she bought back then, she picked up to read and she started reading it. She just opened it up, started reading it. It was based on a movie. It was that movie. Uh, it was that book um, where the crawdads sing, which we saw, you know, about a girl that lives back in the swamplands or whatever and so she bought the book and she started reading the book and she's like this book's a lot different than the movie what the girl was a singer is this weird it just didn't make sense she got about 20 pages in and she's like this what is this her mother's backstory or something anyway she finally stopped and flipped back and looked at the actual you know uh, title page and looked at the cover and took the cover off of the book and everything and then brought it to me and she said this isn't right and anyway it was uh the book inside the dust cover was the jessica simpson book i'm like is that like the jessica simpson the you know the singer actress type thing but yeah sure enough it was somehow somebody had put that in there in the wrong dust cover which fit perfectly she bought it she brought it home started reading it realized it wasn't right so we had to go back there to return that unfortunately they had another copy of where to crawl that thing and so she was able to just swap it out while i was there i took a look at the records and somebody dropped off a lot of decent stuff in the newly received you stuff lots of um pop type stuff and um i probably would have bought a lot more but two things caught my eye that were mid-range price and so i grabbed them and i'm like why would somebody sell these but anyway i got the first traveling wilburys album now this is actually a one of the original 88 releases according to the matrixes on the runouts and stuff uh that i that this person had and and it was in excellent condition the record i mean literally looks almost unplayed and i saw this album about a week ago in another store i'm trying to think of where it was i'm pretty sure it was this other store that i went to i'm thinking and they had this for like forty dollars and i thought well no i'm not going to pay forty dollars for it and so yeah this one was not anywhere near forty dollars so i was able to grab that but then like right beside it they had traveling wilburys volume three volume one and volume three yes there is no volume two um but this is actually the like a 2013 180 gram reissue it too was in excellent condition comes with an insert and yeah so i'm like somebody actually dumped both of them I'm, I'm thinking maybe they just dumped their whole collection they had a lot of good stuff in there i mean there was some pop type stuff hall and oats and and there was some other stuff that had i just had money to buy anything i probably would have bought lots of pop type 80s stuff but uh these two caught my eye and since they were mid-range prices i thought well i'm gonna splurge and get those and so i picked up both of the traveling wilbury so if you're not familiar with this, I mean, you probably recognize all the people on the cover if you're not so much. You got Tom Petty, you know, so you got Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, you know, Roy Orbison, and George Harrison, and uh, the Jeff guy, the ELO. Anyway, they're all, it's a super group. And of course, at the time, this was what it was. And it's funny, on the, on the actual insert here, you know, they got the insert. And they've got uh, Otis Wilbury, Nelson Wilbury, Charlie T. Jr., Lefty Wilbury and Lucky Wilbury. That's the names they use. So. Super group type stuff. But then, of course, um, Roy Orbison ends up passing away. And so this album just has the other four guys on it here. And, of course, since then, of course, we know that we've lost uh, at least two more. So I guess these are the only two guys, with Tom and George being gone. It's just great to have these. These are some really... I like these back in the day. I have the uh, deluxe CD edition that came out later that um, of these albums. And so it was only fitting that I wanted to eventually get the vinyl releases. So again, I'm just like, why would somebody, unless they were just dumping their whole collection, why would somebody dump such classic albums? But they did, and I grabbed them. So there you go. Just a little uh, fun pickup there 
from my local store and uh you know glad to have them glad to have them we'll be spending these things today anyway thanks a lot that's it for this one talk to you later rock on and rock hard